If the relationship is close and one party is betrayed, the relationship is usually miserable and the kinship is broken. You know that I have helped others fight through it however they could be on different sides of it. Both the betrayed individual and the individual who exhibited. I've seen people grow up and not repeat the experience. In this case, their partner was unable to understand. I felt vulnerable in a few of those instances. A key to and an open door to development for the person who made it happen. This helped them with making, as you probably already know. Similarly, that doesn't mean I support it, life is bewildering. In the end, I believe society is better in the long run. If you sincerely commit to a responsibility, keep it. So you could consider it somewhat precarious anyway. I feel that people can commit blunders without truly accepting that their way of thinking is misguided. It is clear that he communicated that there were certain things in a marriage that one could only have if one was in it without any reservations I believe. In that case, if there's an optional section open or you start with one, I trust there's something lacking in the relationship. Basically, you deal with it. So I mean it depends upon whether you view marriage as a realistic arrangement or a supernatural strategy. Ultimately, both of you know what's relevant. In any case, if it's powerful or mental, I really feel it. You don't get change without being pulled out of all the stops. You will never understand something that happens consistently on multiple occasions that causes shock disappointment, contempt, or dissatisfaction anything you'd prefer not to encounter or especially anything you'd prefer not to encounter repeatedly. Then you can knuckle down on it. You could also mention that you were at a party a couple of nights prior when you got down on it. Was there something bothering me there that made me unsure? You don't say well you have been a nuisance in getting it started. You say this is what it looks like to me. This was my response. After a while, you might think I'm a bonehead, inconsiderate, jealous and doltish, or that I'm misinterpreting. But it may have been just a harmless activity that people partake in since it adds zing to social gatherings. It is invaluable to find out. You should contemplate this. Long haul, you're presumably planning to be involved with this minute by minute for a seriously long time unless you're a simpleton. That is causing issues, so figure it out so you can say, well, this is what I observed. What's your explanation for what's going on? Then, they'll give you their viewpoint and in a utopian world, they'll do the very same thing. They'll think well this is my idea and maybe they have several suggestions, yet this is my arrangement and this is what I saw. I accept you're oversensitive. You strip back the explanation layer by layer until you both choose what happened. Even more importantly, what are you prepared to do about it now? Likewise, that is genuinely troublesome. Especially if there is something that isn't straight. This will require a great deal of digging and probably result in tears, shock, and a fight that is very terrible. Right now, it's crystal clear to avoid that. This can't avoid an outcome where you don't have to have that fight again in a fantasy world. You can direct your negative emotions by focusing on yourself. Do whatever it takes not to imagine that all that is great or that you're more lovely than you are or that you're less covetous than you are. The relationship will be at risk if she starts doing all the following.